Hi everybody. All right, so I'm gonna talk a little bit about the shape in terms of how we play um, in futsal. Now some teams will play a diamond, some teams will play a square. Um, I've actually had the most success with a one, two, one, one. And what I mean by that is we have, this position is really a two, seven, because their job is to run this whole line generally. This player is a 5-6, so they're the center back, but they're also the center midfield. This player is the 3-11. Um, they get up and down the sideline, but they also defend this space. And this player uh, up here is the 9-10, okay? Um, and, and this player is our 1-4, okay? So they're our goalie, but they're also, at times, going to be like a center back. All right, so let me see if I can explain when these guys are a center back. There's this goofy rule in futsal that you can't play the goalie's feet unless one of two things have happened. Thing number one is if the other team has touched the ball, or thing number two, the ball's gone over the halfway line. Okay, so let's talk about thing number one. Thing number one is when the other team has touched it. And often it's the case that the ball goes out of bounds when the other team has touched it. So what we do then is we push our shape up the field and we look at it from the perspective of, okay, ball's over here. And I like the 9-10 to be above the ball, okay? so. Ball's over on this side, nine tens there. Here's our triangle with them, but here's our diamond with the one four. Because the ball's gone out of bounds, that means the other team has touched it, and once the other team has touched it, that means we can play to the goalie's feet. Can't pick it up, we can play to the goalie's feet, and we get the other side. When we get to the other side, most of the teams have had defense set up in this space here. So now we have a touch we can find if this player makes the run, we can make the pass down line, or this player can just dribble the ball up the line. Okay, so uh, another option is when the ball comes from here to here to here, we can find the center and we can find the other side, depending on our vision and depending on how well we see that space. Okay, the second time that the player can play to the goalie is, and this one takes a little bit of describing. Okay, so when there is a goal kick, and this is a common occurrence, but the rule is when the ball goes over the halfway line, the goalie gets in, becomes in play again. So here's what tends to happen. They guide, or they guard high, and it's a high press guard, okay? So they'll do something like this. So here's our player here, they'll put pressure there. Here's our player here, they'll put pressure there. Player here, they put pressure. So your options are either you're gonna roll it wide or you're gonna try and find the nine. Now there's a little glitch in the finding the nine. The ball has to bounce before it gets to the nine. It can't go over the halfway line in the air. So you can run around inside your little space uh, that, that the, they, they mark out um, and there's tape to it in the games. You'll see it comes up, it comes over and it's this space here for the goalie. Now, when you run out, either bowl the ball hard because it's touched the ground or pitch the ball so it bounces in front. Once it's gone across the halfway line, then the goalie's back in play. So there's two things that will happen when this player has the ball. Okay, thing number one is that we automatically have a one-on-one. -on -one, and if we have a good dribbler here, go at goal. Thing number two, is this player, because the ball's on this side, this player needs to get up the field, okay? So now we have our, our one, just like we did before with our triangle. Let me say that again. When we had the ball, we formed our triangle, and we had our one. Now we're forming our triangle, and we have our one. And our one is behind where the ball would be. So I'll move the ball over to this person, okay? Ball's over there. This player's in support, this player's in support, this player's up in attack, and this player's chasing. So we have an immediate pass or a one-on-one. -on -one. Now suppose, and this often happens, 
this player's dribbled to the corner. They dribbled up into the corner. This player has moved up into the field. This player has stepped up into the top of that center circle spot, or not the center circle spot, but the top of the, the arc, which is a common spot to be. You'll tend to see this forward drift down. Well, it is very common for this player now to pass back. And once it's been passed back, it's gone over the halfway line, the goalie's in play. And so we can play to the goalie's feet and we can change the side. And we like to be able to use the goalie in attack, okay? All right, um, so let's talk about, uh, there's no goal kicks. So every time that would be a goal kick, the goalie gets the ball for a throw in and they get to run anywhere inside that arc that I showed you, okay? And we, we form this shape. I'm gonna get our players out of there. So we do our, our triangle. Here's our triangle and we have our one. Again, here is our two, seven. Here's our five, six. Here's our three, 11. Here's our one, four. And here is our nine, 10, okay? Um, and again, if there isn't an easy roll, then we pitch, and this guy's got to be moving side to side to get open, okay? Um, talked about goal kicks. Corner kicks. Forgot about corner kicks. So on a corner kick, suppose the ball is on this side. What I do ask the nine... Oh, hold on. This has got to set here. What I do ask the nine to do... So here's our goal. We make our triangle. I ask the nine, ten to come back in. But here, look. It's our triangle and our one. It's it's always this triangle and one or a triangle up top and one. So we get the ball. Here's our nine. This is our triangle. Here's our one. So... Here's our triangle and our one. And in this instance, because it's gone over halfway line, we can play the nine. Okay. Um, I'm going to stop there because I'm running out of time. But hopefully that helps a little bit with uh, when we can play the goalie, when we can't. Um, about uh, throw-ins. Oh, forgot this. There's no throw-ins. So you have... Here's the ball. This is what you got to do. You Stop it on the sideline. Put your hand on top of it to set it. Don't let it roll because if it's rolling, they'll make you not. They'll uh, give the ball to the other team if you kick it. And then you have a total of three seconds to make your decision. It's kind of why I like the goalie to be involved in this because once that ball's gone out of bounds, if they've guarded everybody upfield, which our shape would look like this. Here's our triangle and there's our one. Ball's on that side. Here's our triangle. There's our one. Our goalie is the pass to the other side. When it gets to the other side, our forward is running across. And then this player is waiting for the ball to travel. As it travels, we run up. So we're just forming a triangle in one constantly. Okay, I hope that helps. Um, we'll reiterate that on Saturday. I will talk to you guys. Bye.